hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity remember to subscribe like share and comment on my videos today we are crocheting this beautiful pencil skirt with ruffles at the bottom this is one of the easiest tutorials you'll come across and it will take you probably a couple of days to complete this skirt so let me show you how the ruffles look and we'll start crocheting we are using winter king yarn this is 50 gram yarn winter king is a kenyan brand it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's medium weight yarn 2.5 mm hook is what we'll use a pair of scissors and a tape measure to begin we make a slip knot that's how i make my slip knot then we will do chains i am doing up to 15 inches of chains that is the length of my skirt if you need a longer skirt make more chains if you need a shorter skirt than mine make less chains and if you want the exact length like my skirt you can chain up to 15 inches I'm done with my chains and this is 15 inches. We are working starting from the waistline going downwards and we will do single crochets. Our waistline will be a row of single crochets so skip the first stitch go to the second stitch from the hook and do a single crochet we are doing a total of 20 single crochets and that will be our waistline I am done with my 20 single crochets and now put a stitch marker on your 20th single crochet because we want to begin the body of the skirt and we will use half double crochets. Put a stitch marker on your 20th single crochet that will help us know when it's time to work on the waistline. After your stitch marker, start working on half double crochets going downwards. That is the body of our skirt. The waistline is made of single crochets, which are 20 in number. And the rest of the body will make using half double crochets. I'm almost at the end of my skirt and I'm completing on a couple of half double crochets. After your last stitch, 
please chain two and turn your work to begin a new row and this second row is a row of half double crochets until you get to your stitch marker I'm almost at my stitch marker. I have few half double crochets to go. Then I will remove my stitch marker and start working on single crochets going up. Remember we are doing only 20 single crochets. Remove your stitch marker and start working on single crochet. After your first single crochet, remember to always put back your stitch marker before you continue with the rest of the single crochets. I am at the I'm almost at the top of my single crochets. This is my last single crochet. After your last single crochet, chain one to begin a new row and turn your work. And we are working 20 single crochets. Work 20 single crochets, get to the stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker on the 20th single crochet and remember to put back your stitch marker then we will work on the body of the skirt. I'm on the 20th stitch remove your stitch marker put your 20th single crochet remember to put back your stitch marker and now we begin on the body of this cut we are doing half double crochets all the way down
I am at the end of my skirt chain two. Turn your work and begin the third row of half double crochets until you get to your stitch marker. I'm almost as the stitch marker. Always remember to remove your stitch marker and put it back at the beginning of your 20th stitch. The waistline will be 20 single crochets and the body is double crochets. When we finish the waistline, that is single crochet, we always chain one. And turn your work when we do the body of the skirt which is double crochet we chain two and turn your work that's the only difference and always remember to put back your stitch marker that is the pattern and do that until you get your hips measurement this cut is based on your hips measurement so do that until you get your hips measurement my hips measurement is 36 inches and i will continue crocheting until i get to 36 inches before i forget we are doing a fitting skirt that means we have to minus 8 inches from your hips measurement my hips measurement is 36 inches minus 8 inches that means i'm doing a total of 28 inches when i stretch my skirt it will get to 28 inches take your hips measurements minus 8 inches to get a perfect fitting skirt always remember to chain two to begin a new row of double crochets sorry of half double crochets and chain one to begin a new row of single crochets your work should look like this you can see that's the waistline and that's the body of our skirt. So continue doing that until you get to your hips measurement. I'm done with my skirt and I did a total of 28 inches as I said earlier. 14 inches on the front and 14 inches at the back. Which is a total of 28 inches. The length of my skirt stretched with 1 inch. Remember we started with 15 inches and now it's 16 inches which is totally fine with me. This is how your skirt should look. The waist should be thinner and the body should be bigger. That's how we make a perfect fitting pencil skirt. Now we want to join this together using our hook if you have a needle you can use that to join we are using single crochets for those using hooks use single crochets to join your work and don't cut off your yarn at the end of your skirt
I am done joining my skirt and this is how it looks. This will be the inside part of your skirt. When you are done, please don't cut off your yarn. Turn your skirt inside out, which is the right side. Turn your skirt to the right side and we are going to work on the ruffles. Before we do that, make sure the single crochet that you did during joining is not visible. It should be the same lines like the ones we were doing for half double crochets. Your skirt should look like this. And now let's begin on the ruffles. To do the ruffles, a 3.5 mm hook, it will make much bigger ruffles compared to a 2.5 mm hook. I'm hoping you didn't cut off your yarn. Place back your 3.5 mm hook and chain 2 to begin the first row of the ruffles. For the first row of the ruffles, we will put three double crochets in one stitch. That is row one of the ruffles. We are putting three double crochets in one stitch and we'll do that all round. Go to the next stitch and put again three double crochets in one stitch. That is the pattern for row one of the ruffles. Finish up on row one and I'll meet you at the beginning of row two. This is how row one of the ruffles look. And now we want to finish up on row one and begin row two. After you are done with your last stitches, join using a slip knot. Then chain two to begin row two. On row two, we are going to chain two double crochets in every stitch and like row one we chained three double crochets in every stitch in row two we are chaining two double crochets in every stitch all round This is the last stitches of row two. 
then we will join using a slip knot again and chain two to begin row three in row three we are working one double crochet in every stitch row one was three double crochets in every stitch row two was two double crochets in every stitch and for row three is one double crochet in every stitch work one double crochet in each stitch all round and i'll meet you at the end I'm at the end this is the last stitch then I will join using a slip knot and cut off my yarn and that will be the end of our skirt join using a slip knot and cut off your yarn and make sure your knot is tight enough so that your yarn does not run and go ahead and cut off all the loose yarn or rather stitch in all the loose yarn and our work will be ready. this is how our skirt looks it has a thinner waist and a thicker body giving it the pencil shape and the beautiful ruffles at the end i hope this tutorial was so easy to follow through thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video please remember to subscribe comment like and share goodbye